So these 10 e-books, now talk show host Glenn Beck, he's not writing these books. He's ordered them to be rewritten. Explain how this is working. Correct. There was a writer named Chris Stewart. He'd written a series of six books really aimed at Mormon readers. Glenn read them over vacation in 2010, loved them, thought, this is just what we want to read about today, but we'd like to have them a little broader. We'd like to reach everyone, not just a Mormon readership. So he ordered up 10 of these books, a series of six. He's expanded it to 10. First one's being published tomorrow in digital format. Ebooks. So well, we, should, we should mention the author, Chris Stewart. Chris Stewart, and this is the series, The Great and the Terrible. Now, in, Great and terrible. in the terms of these books, is Chris rewriting them for Glenn Beck? Who's doing the rewriting of these books? Chris said he's doing the rewriting. Okay, so the, the, and, and the series has a new title. Now, in terms of publishing these over uh, in rapid fire, how long will it take these 10 books to come out? Well, Glenn thinks he can publish all 10, and, and the books will probably average about 200 pages each okay. over a year period. One he year. said he wanted it to be sort of like episodic television. Uh, whether we're going to read like that is another question. Now, one year, that's very fast to whip out 10 books. I mean, he's testing a new model of, of publishing that, that it, for anybody, for anybody. Right. It, well, you, you could argue it sort of goes back to this, uh, uh, to a form of Charles Dickens-like distribution where every month he'd write another uh, chapter of a novel to be published by a newspaper. But yes, it shows you what, what can be done now in digital publishing, the fact that the books are going to be relatively cheap, too. The debut book is two ninety nine, and then the others will be five ninety nine. Maybe. And, <laughs> maybe. Maybe, unless he changes his model. But the point, what's really interesting here is Glenn doesn't need a big publishing company to do that. He's got his own company, Mercury Inc. He could, he found a writer he liked, he could find hire an editor, he can work with an editor, and he can distribute it. And he can he can publicize it. I mean, talk about that. I mean, oh my his, God, he's his got Facebook a arm, he, his email he, he, database. I think, I, I think he's got over two million fans on Facebook. He's got an e-newsletter with over a million. He's got his uh, video TV network. He's got his radio show. He's got, a, he's got his own promotion arm in-house. We will see. All right, first one coming out when? In May, what's uh, it? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, May all right. 8th.